Hey y'all, what are y'all doing tonight? It is template to Wednesday, which means we're painting live tonight, a release. And I picked the soccer ball. A lot of you were picking, which one was it? The gopher. And like, <laughs> y'all kept saying gopher and I'm like, he's a mouse. But I can see where he's a gopher too. And I was like, you know what? I bet you, yeah, he kind of looks like a gopher too. So yes. A lot of y'all were picking the gopher, but a lot of y'all were mentioning the grass that was in this one, the soccer ball. So I figured the soccer ball was going to be a, a great way to teach a technique. The gopher is a lot of color blocking. There's not a lot of technique in him. There's a little bit of shading on every little edge, but we've gone over that and we will go over some shading in this one too. So y'all hang tight, go ahead and sprinkle the glitter. I'll just throw it all throughout the interwebs because we're going to go over how to paint grass how to shade a soccer ball and I'm loving I love to paint a soccer ball y'all it is so much fun hey neighbor hey Brenda how are you is my little friend over there it's my little Elijah I'm a little baby a Erica did you see my garland and door hanger I did actually like I saw it in a scroll and I was gonna go back and comment but then Raylan that toddler mom life y'all okay y'all let's get into this tutorial let me get this set up real quick because i just realized i'm reading this here and i'm gonna be squinting so let's not do that let's do this let me go ahead and get my video pulled up oh look there's erica doodle doop okay hi diana hey deidre i was waiting on you i'm here I almost was late because Ray Lynn, Jared Tui, oh my goodness, that's a blast from the past. I was th I was telling someone about you not long ago, Jared. That is exciting. How are you doing, dude? I've known Jared since I was little. We used to go to church together. Uh, caught up on rest a little bit, Deidre, a little bit. Like I still have. You know when you're so exhausted, you get this tension headache. I, we call it the Ray Lynn brow in our house. Ray Lynn will just look at you like this all the time. And that's just her face. Poor thing. <laughs> she's <laughs> she's going to be very misunderstood <laughs> if that's her face. That's her face all the time. So we call it the Ray Lynn brow because she literally just judges people all day long. And so I got, I have that tension headache that's just right here. So I did take a little 30 minute snooze on the couch after we got back. Um, and it was good, but it was not enough. So yes, um, if you are in the paint studio, we will be painting again tomorrow night right here. Probably not here because it's supposed to be storming tomorrow. We'll probably be in the kitchen, but we will be painting tomorrow night. So as we're talking about painting, let's go ahead and get into the tutorial now. I'll keep the chit chat going. But let's go ahead and get to painting. So let's go ahead and flip it down. Let's go around town and boop. See y'all in a little bit. Let's go full table. There we go. Just waiting. All right. Okay, so how are y'all doing tonight? Jaren, I am doing just fine. I am loving life. Like I have, okay, so we're gonna start off with Spa Blue. I'm gonna try and keep up with telling y'all which paints I'm using. If I forget, y'all just holler at me and say, hey, what was that? Most of my studio girls know my go-to colors. I'm having to veer away from some of my go-to colors just because, um, you know, with the pandemic that, that's that been here and there and all around everywhere. I'm just going to paint the entire thing. Not, I'm going to try and stay away from the soccer ball. It, a little bit will probably get on the soccer ball. But I'm just going to go ahead and fussy paint around that. There we go. Um, gosh, what was I saying? See, that this is the fog. I've been in a fog. Um, most of my studio girls know what colors... I use on a regular basis so if I forget to say it they will probably be in the comments catching it up so if you mention it they'll probably be like oh girl that is banana cream or that is such and such 
but just know I'm having to veer away from it because Deco Art right now is working on limited staff still. They are they're trying to get caught back up, but I think there's some colors that are just going to be uh, pandemic retired. I have like I haven't heard it like officially, but I just I just have this feeling that they're going to reduce their color list. I mean, it kind of makes sense. It just kind of makes. There were some colors that were just a shade from another color. And you could totally get that by adding white. Or totally get that by adding a little bit of blue or adding a little bit of brown. I think we're going to be... Y'all, this spa blue is really good coverage. If you hear a big bang every once in a while, that is my German Shepherd outside, Romo. Trying to save the world. He does not like it when I come in here and he doesn't come in with me. But he refuses to come in here with me. He even has his own little doggy bed. He refuses to come in here with me because he's a patrol dog. He loves to just uh, patrol the perimeter of our fence anytime someone's outside. Take away to add new... Yes. Hey, Marie. Anybody else's video keeps freezing? Ashley. Wait, isn't it storming where you're at, Ashley? My replay hasn't froze yet, but I'm also watching on the same service that I'm filming on, so that could be. There's always one person that it freezes on. It never fails. My videos, there's always Facebook picks that one person. And Ashley, I feel like it's always you, girl. Facebook is out for you when when it comes to watching me. Okay, so y'all, y'all see my little... I forgot to bring water in. So I've been keeping this thing full of water for in here for those nights that I'm like, oh crud, I forgot to get clean water. I did clean all my cups out, but did not refill them with water. So we are going to move all the paintbrushes to clean water. I'm going to have this one for really dirty brushes. That two inch brush. I always have another paint cup if you ever wonder why. Um, I always have another paint cup for like super big brushes that hold a lot of paint to kind of clean them out in their own little cup. And that's just to keep my paint water from getting so murky. That way if I need clean water to blend, which y'all know I don't like to do that too often. I like to use actual blending gel. Um, then I have that to kind of uh, create a barrier from my paint water getting so nasty dirty. All right, so I cleaned that prematurely. So I'm going to dirty that back up with the spa blue. I'm going to go half and half with some white, but I'm going to go up on the chisel. And I'm going to, like, just zebra stripe that in. Okay, then I'm going to go on the flat and work it in. I don't need a lot. I just need a little bit of white that's kind of streaked in there. Same process, half and half, a little bit of white. Zebra stripe that in there and then flatten it out. This is gonna create, now the only way this works is if your blue was still wet. If it's not, then you really need that blending gel to create, and you don't wanna blend it to where you don't see streaks of white. You just don't wanna see harsh streaks of white. That's why we're going back on the flat. All right, and we're going back in that dirty water. See how much paint? Can y'all see that? Look. See how, I mean, that went from clear to that instant. That's why this thing gets its own little paint cut. All right, let's blow dry that. Oh, wait, a little hair got in there. Oh, no. Don't you hate it when that happens? Good thing it was still wet. Let me get a smaller brush. We're going to just dab most of that water off, and we're just going to, with a little water on our brush, just kind of feather that on very lightly. Put it back in the water. Now let's blow dry. It's not stormy yet. Now something Facebook does is it picks one person when I'm live. Oh yay, Elijah is next door. I love it when there's a baby near. Um, so it picks one person and it constantly tells me that they're watching. So Deidre, tonight it's you, boo. It, I have deeper nap, deeper nap, deeper nap. Like it just constantly tells me. 
I have a gallon of water in my she shed. Deidre. Okay, so we're just getting this nice and dry because we're done with it. We take him. Hey, girl, hey. All right, so we're getting this nice and dry. It doesn't have to be uh, dry, bone dry. Yay, I'm special. Yeah, one night it was Roxana. I think it had, I think we have to be Facebook friends, so I think that's one little. All right, so while this is still drying, I'm going to, I'm going to take this off real quick because this drives me crazy. All this, I'm going to go ahead and clean that up. I mean, it's still going to get messy, but that all that really drives me crazy. So I have, okay, that was a garland that I had hanging here that I haven't taken down yet y'all can see that it's the lemon garland the hello spring one i'm just gonna put this on my, my couch i have a little couch that i kind of chill on after a live and i do all my post live all my post live there's work that you have to do when when you're done going live especially if you're teaching you have to go back and put a lot of information in and and make sure that everything on your phone operated correctly and make sure that it uploaded to Facebook correctly. And there's just a lot of stuff. Well, uh, let me take that. There's a lot of stuff that I do. Not everybody does it. And it's definitely not, it's not, you have to do it. It's just, I've always been in the routine of doing it and I'm a routine aholic. I love to stick to a routine because it gives me structure. And I'm like a five year old. I need all the structure I can get. I'm trying to wait, but I want to paint it so bad. Well, Deidre, you have till Friday, girl. If you can just hold out till Friday, we will get that painted because we're going to be live Friday. You can go ahead and paint it. Let me, okay, so let me tell you right now. If you're in the virtual paint party, the, um, the Hello Spring Lemon Blueberry Door Hanger, they got a bonus template and tutorial that's coming on Friday. They've got uh, a garland, the garland I just showed you. And I'm going to go ahead and base coat this white. And during the tutorial, we're going to do a live Q&A where I will answer any questions that you're just kind of curious about. It, I mean, it could be about me. It could be about door hangers. It could be about, um, as long as it's appropriate. I mean, like, here's the one thing I don't get into. I don't get into politics. Politics angers me to a point and I have opinions. Oh, girl, I've got opinions. Let me put it this way. Oh, girl, and Jaren, because J Jaren's a boy, if y'all didn't pick up on that, um, since Jaren's watching with me tonight. I'm so excited. I love seeing all my old friends. I don't ever leave my house. I don't ever leave my house. Today, I left my house. I took my daddy out to lunch, my mama and daddy. So, we did leave the house today, but we had to go to the post office, so there, that's the reason we left. Is it raining? It's raining. <laughs> the forecast said no rain. Um, so, I, I waited till the last minute to go ahead and set it up in here. Because, you know, my, my studio's in a little, you know, a little she shed. I love how that's an actual proper noun now. It's in a she shed in my backyard separated from all the all the loudness of two children a dog and a husband that chews very loudly because usually when i go live it's dinner time i make their plates i sit with them for a little bit as i anxiously wait to come paint with you because it is an anxiousness like i'm ready like i just want to hit the button just right then and there and i'm like no i told him a certain time so i'm gonna wait but yeah we're gonna have a live q a but like i said i don't get into politics that's about the only thing i don't get into politics so if you ask me anything about that i'm gonna say i plead the fifth just because that, that that's one of those things that when we're trying to relax and be creative that's a that's one of those things that gets really high strong real quick because there's there's a a, a big divide big divide and it's really hard to have a 
a, a good conversation about it, a good adult conversation through a screen. I don't like it when I see people going back and forth in comments about something that is so personal as their political beliefs, their religious beliefs. It's so hard that that takes a very personal touch. It takes a, it takes facial expression. It takes 100% of communication to fully rely. And even then there will be things that get miscommunicated because of feelings. And that's just part of being human. So I, I, with the barrier of a screen like this, I try not to get into those huge, huge conversations because we're lacking some of the, the key components to a true, um, there's too much barrier for communication. Oh, Melissa, he loves the rain. He loves it. We have to beg him to come inside when it's raining. The only time he'll come inside willingly is if the wind is too high. He gets really nervous about high winds. The thunder and lightning, let it thunder. He is barreling down the door to get outside to save the world. As soon as it thunders, say this is my backyard. As soon as, as, soon as it thunders, he wants to go outside. He, so here's my back door. He wants to go outside. He wants to go zoom, zoom. And we have a big hill that goes up the back corner of our of our property. So he goes up that hill to that corner, down the hill to the other corner, back to the house, across the house, and then he'll go a couple times in. You realize he's he's done when he's cut the corner and did a diagonal. He totally cut this part out, and he comes straight back to the back uh, back door. And blow drying this even though we're gonna put a second coat of white on y'all hear him there he is I'm gonna put a second coat of white on I will not be shading that coat I'm blow drying it because I want additional coverage I'm not shading it if I wanted to shade it I would have left it wet but I want additional coverage so I'm gonna go ahead and put uh, blow dry it that way my new white is gonna lay on top and fill in all the patchiness of the first layer of white so if it's not if your paint is not getting good coverage it's probably because I want you to remember this wet paint moves wet paint that probably means that your uh, previous layer is still too wet you know I'm picking up dry pieces of white paint I don't like that we're gonna rough this ball up a little bit but I don't want it to look bumpy Okay, there we go. So, and I have this knot right here that I'm trying to make sure I cover really good because it, it landed in the same spot as where the white is gonna be. I didn't even get lucky in the, in the fact that a black part of the soccer ball is gonna be there. Nope, it's gonna be white and it's dead center of a white patch. So, that's gonna be fun. All right, so, if y'all didn't notice, today is the last day. Well, no, it's not the last day. It's the last template till Wednesday of, of March. It got here fast. I feel like I just uploaded uh, March 1st designs. Like, it's, it's March 30th, y'all. 30th. A quarter of the year is gone. It's gone. Like, we were just complaining about 2020 like yesterday and it's already a corner quarter not corner a quarter of 2021 is gone and I just I just oh no y'all look what I did look what I did I'm gonna pat that dry immediately and it should salvage it it'll it'll uh dry back to its original all right so let's go ahead and I'm going to do, um, I'm not going to do wet on wet blending right now. I, I want to go ahead and get my black patches on here. Oops. Dogs are so silly. I swear my beagle 
mix gets super charged when it's cold out and when she's gotten wet. It zooms all over the home. Oh my gosh, Melissa. Now, I will say, when Romo's inside, he's, he's like a little, um, he's a sloth. I swear, he never moves. Hey, Helen. I just mailed something out to you today, Helen. It's on its way. The only time he really gets riled up in the house is if we intentionally play with him and get him riled up or our our washer is making that kicking sound because it's off balance so anytime the um the washer goes uh, gets to that cycle where it gets off uh off balance and it starts kicking that's when he gets real riled up right now oh marie mosley you better not i'm dropping it in the mailbox in the morning marie Oh, you did get to, I always wonder if y'all get a notice. I know my website says it's sending y'all one, but I was wondering if it actually act, sent you one. Cause let me tell you what I didn't do. I didn't set that up. I'm, my website just did it all by itself. Oh, now it's Helen's turn. It's Helen's turn to be. Deidre, you've been, you've been booted off the island, girl. It's Helen's turn. Sprinkled the glitter everywhere. Aw, thank you, Deidre. I was telling y'all earlier that the, um, Facebook just picks one person and start, tells me repeatedly, like every 30 seconds, so-and-so is watching, so-and-so is, and it's the same person. I could have 5,000 people watching. It's never happened. But 5,000 people watching. And it's just going to pick one person and constantly tell me. So they look like comments. But they're really not. They're just people watching. Okay, so it's kind of dry to the touch. So we're going to go one more time. I'm going to kind of create a barrier here. It gets hot, so don't do this if you're real sensitive to heat. I'm just creating a barrier because it's going to bounce off my hand and bounce back onto the wood. So it's kind of getting the convection oven. It's starting to get hot now. I can't do it any longer. I can only do it for so long. All right, let's pick black. This is going to be not fun to paint mitt y'all know me i like to save black for the very last i'm gonna pick a medium size angle brush if you're using the royal Lane nickel big kit choice brushes you know the ones that i love the one with the little grippies i just mailed some of these out to some of my paint studio girls um two of my paint studio girls won a contest that i ran this month and i thought my husband mailed them out but checked his trunk the other day for something else and guess what I saw packages that never made it to the post office that's okay that's okay because I honestly don't think I told him they were there so I'm gonna give him a pass I remember putting them there I remember mentally making a note of reminding him that they were there and when I checked today which was sad because I went to the post office today. I could have taken them myself. Um, when I checked there today for something that I had put in the trunk for Ray Lynn as well, I was like, oh, look. Oops. So they won some of these brushes. They're my favorite, and I want, I want everybody to enjoy them. Get an opportunity to try them. Okay, so there's one coat there. It may not take a second coat, but we won't know. With black, you don't know if it needs a second coat till it is completely dry. Sorry I'm late. I'm watching my nephews play baseball. Ooh, Maria. Maria. Shauna White. I love those brushes. Don't you? They are my faves. They are my favorites. Please don't tell any of the other brushes. They make it jealous. I still have some other go-to brushes, but they're just kind of a, a hodgepodge mix match of just random brushes that I've accumulated over the years. These are my go-to consecutive, like a set, a set of brushes that I can honestly recommend. I, 
am not affiliated or anything like that. So when I recommend them, I'm purely, it is my opinion. It is from experience. I get zero dollars from saying that these are the legit. Look, they are legit. They're so good. So good. So, it was so hard to save this one for the last week. I love soccer. I love the look of a soccer. I think a soccer ball looks so clean, even when it's dirty. There's something clean looking about a soccer ball. If y'all could see me propped up on my paint desk right now, I am this, I am in paint order mode. There's a, there's a particular stance when I'm not being watched and I'm, I'm just getting comfortable. I prop my elbow up and I have my hand kind of at a right angle and I lay my chin and I just kind of watch. Okay. We're just rotating. Okay, so a soccer ball has two different shapes that make up the pattern. There are hexagons and there are pentagons. So five and six sided objects. The pentagon is surrounded by hexagons. So you're looking for the ones that have five points, not six. So usually you will have a pentagon and it'll be every side of that pentagon is going to be touched by a hexagon. So you can kind of visualize it that way. If you're having trouble seeing them, I'm telling you there's just something beautiful about a soccer ball. My favorite sports are soccer, basketball and martial arts, specifically Taekwondo. I've done Taekwondo since I was a little girl. And the last couple of years have been hard because I had to let it go just because I'm a one woman show and it's really hard to run a business and, and raise toddlers and teenagers. Like I had to, just, I just have a trifecta of a lot of things in my life going on to the point that there, there something had to give. Something just had to give. It's not that I don't have the time for it. It's just other things are taking priority. And so I will be able to circle back when I'm ready. So I've been told a few times, you work too much. I was like, I'm actually not working as much as when I worked full time. It's just I have boundaries. <laughs> I don't answer the phone if I am working unless it's my mother or if my children aren't with me at the time, which is hardly ever, um, I don't answer the phone. So I have boundaries that way I get my work done and I'm not, I mean, there were some days, there were some times in the very beginning where I was working round the clock, exhausted. I'm exhausted now just because I mismanaged my time with classes that I'm taking. And cause even though I run my own business, that doesn't mean I stop learning. Well, I miss, I am usually really good about time management and I mismanaged planning out my schedule and I have a few courses that are overlapping. The beginning of one is overlapping the end of another. And I'm one, I like to do the course as it's offered, not just save it for later. I'm, I'm just like that. I, my brain won't let me do it later. I can revisit it later, but it won't let me start it later. It needs to be started now. So, I'm just exhausted. Plus, I have, I also offered the virtual paint party on top of th three courses. <laughs> so, I'm just, I'm just tired, but I'm making it. So, I have learned my lesson. I have, you know, it's one of those, you'll do it once and you'll never do that again. It's kind of when you... When someone's like, you're really going to let your child do that? It's like, it'll be the last time they do it. It's like, they'll learn. It's like me telling them 5,000 times, obviously, wasn't the way to teach them. So, they're going to now learn through experience. <laughs> well, I learned through experience to how to not become so exhausted. You should be affiliated. You shared your Instagram post to their stories. I shared it to their stories. Oh, they shared. Oh, they did. I need. Was that today? I missed it. 
Hey ladies, I'm late. No excuses other than lost track of time. I finally got my blanks cut for the door hanger and watching uh, and matching garland though. Oh, I'm so proud of you, Lori, because Lori was just in the group saying, guess who's not ready? This chick. She was saying that she was not ready. Okay, so again, we don't know flat uh, completely full coverage until we blow dry it. And then I'm I'm just gonna go ahead and blow dry it. What brushes do you have? Okay, so Helen, I have the Royal and Lane Nickel Big Kid Choice Brushes. It's a 15 brush set. Let me show you while that's drying. Now, don't judge my brushes. They are well loved and overly used. So they have paint all the way up the, the handle. Okay, so they have the grippy. They look like the triangle brushes that everybody raves about, but the triangle brushes have always fell apart on me. So, um, I like these because the glue that holds all of it together is really, really solid. It's really good. And, um, so the handle does not come uh, apart from the metal part if you leave them in water. I mean, if you left them in water for weeks, yeah, that would probably break down the glue. That would break down any glue. But they, I mean, I've had these for years. I mean, look how long that they, I mean, different layers of paint and all that good jazz. But they have the grippy. So you have a little bit more of an uh, ergonomic. Is that the word? Ergonomic. It has a softer feel, so you don't get that little indention from painting too long. That post gave me the boost I needed. Did it really? Oh, I'm so excited that you had to, <laughs> you had to, uh, what is it? Not blame yourself. Tell on yourself. I was like, what would my mama say? Told on himself. You had to tell on yourself that you hadn't gotten it done yet. That's a good thing that that's just for fun, huh? That it was not life or death. It's just a paint party. I am glad that you're getting it done though because it is a fun one to paint. If you're wondering which one I'm talking about, I'll show it at the end. It's propped up behind me. I love it. I've gotten so many orders for it. So now I will say if you're gonna batch create those, so I'm gonna go ahead and just paint that solid black. not fiddle with that one little tiny patch of white. We're about to start shading on this soccer ball, y'all. So y'all just hang tight. We're about to get a technique going. I always like to show y'all something. Something to sink your teeth into when I, I teach y'all something live. Color blocking is one thing. But I want you to always leave, leave the paint table with something to kind of practice later. So even if it's something that we've gone over a few times, practice makes perfect. And maybe, maybe you see it from a different angle. So don't, don't get upset if I, I teach something once, twice, three, 5,000 times. It's usually just because it never hurts to have a refresher and it usually gives you another angle. Sometimes, sometimes you didn't see it as good the first time and now I'm, I've got a better angle or the object that I'm painting has like this it's black and white so there's a lot of of room for you to really see where my brush is there's not too much busyness going on i love y'all i can there's so many reasons i love painting soccer balls okay so here's my second coat it will be completely coated full coverage now, this one right here would be, if you wanted to offer a door hanger of the month, um, this would be a fun one to batch create. Fun one to batch create because it has nice clean lines. When we get to that grass, y'all are going to be like, oh, that looks like fun. Now, you do have to practice grass before you go straight to the wood. Um, there is a, there's a, there's a finesse to it, but it's not hard. Not rocket science, I promise. All right, so I'm going to take just a little bit of white paint. I have a little fingerprint over here, and I'm going to do my concealer trick right here. So I just have white paint on my finger, and I'm just going to dab, 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 dab. Okay? And that just cre uh, completely covered my little blue fingerprint from, it's actually here, it transferred from here 
and I put it in slightly damp paint right there. I love your nails. Well, thank you, Maria. Thank you. I did them today. I was getting tired of the mint. I'm still intimidated though. Don't be intimidated. It's so much, girl, go watch the videos. I break it down literally baby size bites. And I ultra explain it, like over explain it. I haven't started it yet. Marie Mosley. Marie Mosley. Thank you, Ashley. Tell her, stop it. No, ma'am. It's just paint. If it goes south fast, blow dry it, sand it down, start over. I haven't done mine that yet either. It's cut, but I need to catch up on life first. I'm with you, Maria. That's where I'm at. I'm very thankful for 31 days in March because Paint Studio needs one more day to get one more tutorial done. And we'll have a full month under in, under our belts in the studio. And then we move on to, uh, what is next month? Oh, sweet Lord, what is next month? It is April. Y'all, that's, that's the kind of brain I have right now. That's why you should never overbook yourself. You can do it. I know you can. Yes, yes, you can. You can do it, Lori. It's just layers. No need to be intimidated. You start with the furthest back element. Yep. And that's how the videos go. The beauty of a virtual paint party is that it comes with videos. 30 minutes left to work watching you in the meantime. Aw. Well, shh. I hope you have headphones because I'm loud. OMG. Ladies, guess who CNC has been shipped? Lori, did you get a CNC? Which one did you go with? You know my preference. I have two that I really like. Melissa, you haven't even printed your template. Y'all are, are cracking me up. Aw, oh, Cindy, I'm so thankful. That's how I learn. You have to ultra explain things to me for me to fully understand what you're asking me to do. So I try to give everybody else the same. I try to pretend that everybody's like me because over explaining is one thing. Under explaining is when it gets dangerous. When you don't give enough information, miscommunication comes along and that's where frustration comes in. That was a lot of T-I-O-Ns. Shuns. I need it ultra explained. Okay, so I have my blending gel, okay? So I have a big old bottle. I just refill this one up. This is the stuff that's inside your paint that's not pigment. So you have pigment and you have the acrylic, the matte medium acrylic. This is not matte medium acrylic. This is blending gel. So I'm putting pretty much the entire brush in the blending gel and I'm gonna work it into the brush itself. This is lubricating and dirtying up my brush. Hold on, let me clean it out again. It's lubricating the brush, okay? It, it's really creating, I'm gonna do it over here where there's no paint. Y'all know me, it takes, it takes a lot for me to switch paint palettes. This is probably mul multiple weeks old. Okay, so I'm going to on the back of the brush, the heel, the short, whatever you want to call it, I'm going to just kind of mix in a gray. You can also, and I'm just going to go along every line. You can use water to do this technique as well, where it connects with black. This is going to dingy up. That black was not dry. Um, this is going to dingy up. The soccer ball a little bit. Okay. I'm just going line by line. Doesn't have to be perfect. Just creating that texture. And the reason I'm being alt, look, in the matte medium or the blending gel 
I'm gonna knock most of it off. And then I'm gonna go a little bit of white. It's not even an eighth of an inch. It's like three bristles, okay? three bristles okay and I'm going I'm doing all of the lines that connect that kind of float in between the the black sections you can also pre-mix your black your gray ahead of time to where it's not constantly where you're not constantly having to mix it on your brush. I've done this enough that I'm kind of confident about it, but in the beginning I would not have been. Look at that, I need to get that off my hand. There we go. See what I did there? Okay, again in the blending gel, the white, just a touch of black. I'm finding a clean part of my paint palette. You can go back to the same one, but some that blending gel will kind of level out. So your previous layer of mixed gray that's sitting in that blending gel has spread. So you, you run the chance of your brush getting murky. So to avoid that, okay, I'm kind of working next to we're gonna dirty that up. There we go. The blending gel was still super wet, so I was able to clean that up a little bit. Okay, so let's rotate this around. I need to start painting this way. I have one more. One more. There we go. Something the good thing about that blending gel, that was the very first one we did. These were the first, well, close to the first. I'm able to kind of smooth them out with my fingers. Just kind of smooth it out. This is a step that you can toll, and I'm wiping it off on my paint rag. There we go. There's our soccer ball. Okay. Oh, I love it. I love it. Okay. Husband ordered it a fish, uh, oh, a Onefinity. I like Onefinity. I have never used one, but I've heard really good things about it. The one I had was a Shape Oko. Ashley, you're gonna love your templates being on card stock. You're gonna love it. You are gonna absolutely love the thicker I used to have mine on poster board, which was too thick. That was way too thick um, for me. Oh, Cindy, what did you order? I missed it. Did you order a, uh, a CNC? What did you order? Oh, the blending gel. You ordered the blending gel. Ooh, I love blending gel. It stays wetter longer than the matte medium acrylic and I, th I have a feeling because it's not matte like it does dry down translucent and not shiny but it's not it's just not matte I mean it's just it's just liquid like it's almost like it evaporates like water Marie's using MDF for the first time what is the clear liquid Karen that is called matte uh, not matte, matte medium. it's called blending gel it is the clear stuff Kind of like matte medium acrylic. Matte medium acrylic is the stuff that's actually in your paint that's not pigment. It's the it's the clear liquid that makes it fluid. Um, blending gel is really similar to it, but it stays wetter longer. I love it. 
It's my favorite. If I'm not going to wet on wet blend, what I call lazy painting, um, then I always opt for the blending gel. The blending gel gives you cleaner blending lines. <laughs> I've never had the urge to paint a soccer ball until now. <laughs> You always talk about being a directional painter. I've never paid attention to it, but apparently I am too. One difference, I paint away from me, not towards me. Lori, man, my brain would be broken if I had to paint away from me. It would break. My grandson says it looks realistic. Oh, that makes me excited. I have, now, hey, for a boy to say, that's, that's kudos right there. Nice soccer ball. Thanks, Roxana. That's my friend. Okay, I'm caught up on comments. I love that going to get some. Yeah, Karen, I'm lo I am love blending gel. Okay, so y'all, y'all ready? Are we ready for grass? All right, so let's get, I'm going to use leaf green. Y'all know I'm a huge fan of the Hauser Trio, the Hauser Light, Hauser Medium, Hauser Dark. I'm actually just going to go with True Leaf Green, okay? I know that you can still get Leaf Green. So, this will be our, not our dark, I do have Hauser Dark. I have a little bit of Hauser Dark, and we are going to use it. I have literally just enough to cry about it being gone. I'm going to pull... We may play with different size brushes. I'm gonna start with the small red, which is this flat. It's about a quarter inch, maybe not quite half. Probably about a, a three eighths, maybe. Probably three eighths. What was your question, Michaela? I see, I see your comment now. Who carries the brushes, Walmart? Uh, if you go to the Walmart section and the kids craft section, so you have the section where you they carry the, the paint bottles like this. If you go an aisle over or further down that aisle, you're going to see all the kids craft section. And there's going to be things that are called triangle brushes. And then there's going to be a big 15 brush set. It's $7. I highly recommend them. It's these. They have the... The thing about them is they have the rubber stoppers, and there's 15 of them. That's how you can tell these are the ones. They're Royal and Lay Nickel Big Kid Choice brushes. Okay, so here's the trick. So, we see, okay, you can't see this, but my blending gel started off in a little puddle this big. It has ventured out to this big. It travels. It levels itself out. It's so thin and fluid that it levels itself really quick. That's why I don't. I, I constantly move uh, around on my palette when I'm blending with it because it levels itself out, and any pigment that you blend with it levels with it. Hobby Lobby has them now. Oh, Hobby Lobby has them now. That makes me happy. Because really, honestly, sometimes the only time I go to the big Walmart, because we have a Walmart neighborhood market, little grocery uh, store, um, is to get brushes or to buy Happy Mail for people. They don't have the big pack, though. It had seven brushes. Well, that's just not acceptable, Hobby Lobby. You need to splurge and get the... So, I'm conditioning my brush again, and I'm going to dip straight... In. I'm going to pull a little bit more. And I'm making it watery. You can do the same thing with water, but I just want to use the blending gel since it's on my palette. We're just going to use it. I'm going to knock most of it off. Okay. Whew. This is, I haven't done grass in a little while. Let's do a little section down here. I'm on the chisel. The thing that's making this go easy is the blending gel. You want it to be really inky. Okay. Okay. Now, let me, let me tell you what's the same brush stroke. I'm on the chisel, so that means I'm not flat. I'm not going, you're not getting three eighths worth of a, of a line. I'm going thin. And I'm just putting it down before the wood. Okay. 
I'm going to go over. And you will have to constantly mix some blending gel or water because it evaporates really quick. And you're just going to do this. You're, this is the fun part. Okay, so blending gel. Straight up leaf green. I do need to, hold on y'all. What brand blending gel? Okay, so this is probably, this probably, uh, I don't think this is deco art. I could not find it at Hobby Lobby. Um, they did not, deco art does not have a blending gel. They do have a matte medium acrylic and it will do the same thing. It just is not as wet and self-leveling as blending gel. I think folk art. When I traced my mixed media design multiple times, it makes a design on the wood. It began tearing. What's the best way to prevent or help from this help when I traced my mixed media design multiple times to make a wood design. Huh. Michaela, send me a picture. Show me what you're talking about. Mixed media design multiple times. Show me, show me, show me one of, yes, mine is folk art. I think it is folk art. Although I think deco art may have something similar and it may not be called blending gel. They may have something that's like matte medium acrylic that's not matte medium acrylic. Let me, I cannot stress that enough. They are not the same thing. They're very, uh, and I will preach that until deco art or folk art comes at me and says, yes, they are, Erica. I, I'm just saying from experience. No one's ever told me that they're not the same thing. From my experience, I get better results from blending gel than matte medium acrylic. Okay, so that's enough on that side. Okay. This is gonna be the hard part because I'm right-handed and this is the right side. Now, I'm, I'm really light pressure. Really light pressure. Now, we're going to do a layer of this. We're not going to go so crazy that you can't see. I want there to be a little bit of blue, a little bit of white and black, because we're going to come back in with different shades of this green, okay? I just want to get a nice little base coat of our medium tone. This might be the darkest color that we... No, because, no, we have, we have um, dark Hauser. I don't want to cover too much of the front of the ball. I just want to, and I want to come, come around the ball. I do want to have a few taller wispies up here. Okay, there we go. Now, let's, dirty brush, not even going to care about cleaning it. I'm going to go straight to the dark and mix in that. So I've got this in the dark. I'm making it real inky. I'm just bringing it over. Real inky. Knocking most of it off. Gonna dip my the tip of my brush in there. I do wanna go ahead and blow dry this, this right here. Cause I'm about to have to drag my hand through this. Now with this dark one, I am going to kind of touch and make sure that because with that blending gel, it, it stays wet longer, so we may have to blow dry it. Oh, Cherish, I saw that today, Cherish. Cherish went uh, throwback Thursday on me today. She picked up a bunch of older templates. I'm really excited to see those resurface. If the graphite paper is tearing, you're pressing too hard, or your paint may still be wet and it's tacky. It may not be uh, sopping wet. It may be wet to the touch. And when you go to, if that's what's happening, if the graphite paper is the thing that's tearing, you could be pressing too hard. 
You could be pressing with something too sharp. I recommend a ballpoint pen or a dull pencil or Dollar Tree sells what's called a dotting tool. Um, I don't have one in here, I don't think. Um, I Okay, so like this right here, this pencil is way too sharp. And it's dull, that's what's sad, it's way too sharp. Um, this pencil right here, that's better. See how dull, I, I usually use a really dull pencil. Not the graphite, the media, the media palette paper. Hmm. It keeps tearing. I'm back at it. I, I need a visual of that. I need a visual. I want to make sure the advice that I give on that is going to match the actual problem. Because I have a vision in my head. Okay, so with this dark. So send me a picture. I know you've got something laying around. Just snap me a picture of it. Girl, I was sleeping on those. And you seen I got a few fall ones. I saw that. <laughs> I'm, I have some fall already designed. Like some classic. Some classic stuff. Okay, so here's our dark. I'm not going to make the dark ones too terribly tall. Okay. And these are just shades away from each other. These are not huge contrasts. Remember, we still want this to be bright and bubbly. We don't want it to be so dark and drab. Because remember, it's spring and summer. Okay, so I am on the flat down here. I am on the flat, okay? And I'm just emptying down my brush. Just kind of, it's dry brush. There's not much paint on my brush. I'm just emptying it out. Just kind of getting some good coverage down here. Okay, I'm not going to do it on the soccer ball quite yet. I want to make sure I have a nice dry brush when I get to the soccer ball. Okay, just on the very edge. Okay, here we go. And just a couple, just not even an inch. I'm just going on the soccer ball. I'm just giving just a, because remember, we don't want to cover up too much of that soccer ball. We just want to Get it nice and dingy down there. Just dingy. Okay. Blending gel. Hauser dark. Okay. The, the trick to this part, now that we're in the color number two, is to not drag your hand through wet paint. Okay. We're just creating some some deepness. Just some deepness. We don't want now you can definitely bump up. I think I'm gonna bump up in brush size to the medium red brush. Because these will give me a little bit more of a distance because it can hold more paint. But you want to keep a very light touch. Okay. Let me kind of test drive. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I kind of like the thinner one better. I like the, the smaller brush. Yeah, we're going to go back to that smaller brush. So let's use an angle brush. Angle brushes tend to be thinner. I need, I'm needing some travel. If I was painting a smaller picture on a smaller palette or a smaller canvas, that little flat brush, which is usually what I use for grass, is a little flat brush, would get the job done. I'm going the distance here. So I have an angle brush now, and I'm leading with the, uh, with the heel, which means that's the thing that's going forward. So I'm, I'm painting away. Oh, look at me, Lori. I'm painting away from me. I guess I do paint away from me on certain techniques. And I'm just creating some texture. I'm picking up both green. And I'm not letting my brush get in super flooded with paint. Okay. On a bigger scale, I kind of like the angle. Y'all know I'm a fan of angle brushes. Okay, so you want a couple, not many. You just want a couple of blades of grass that go kind of high. Not many. Just 
much. Want it to look like the day before grass cutting day. Okay, we're about to switch back over to our, our medium color, our original green. Okay, I am gonna put a couple that start I don't know if I like that. I'm gonna keep it though. Just kind of fill that in. Okay, now I'm going back over to my original green dirty brush, picking up some um, blending gel. Oh, I hear her. Here she comes. She escaped. She has been a little escape artist when it comes to when she knows I'm out here. She will somehow, she'll wait for someone to go to the bathroom and she will venture out here and, and knock on, I can hear her, I have little steps. Let's go over here to the soccer ball so y'all can see that a little better. I can hear her on the steps. And remember, I don't wanna put a whole lot in front of the soccer ball. I want you to see the entire soccer ball Hey there, friend. Hey, Misty Money. How you doing, girl? I also sold three of the four autism hangers that I cherish. Girl. Yeah, she sent me pictures. Girl, I can tell you why you sold them. I can tell you right now why you sold those because they look amazing. You did amazing on that. That one, man, I'm sure as soon as you posted them. There we go. Okay. So there's our soccer ball. Okay, so that's the medium green. That's the dark green. Now let's bump down in, in tone and value as some of the true artists say. We're just playing with paint here, so we're not true artists, right? Right? We're just playing. I just added some half and half mixture of white and our original green. I'm going to knock most of that off. Remember, we want to keep, um, we don't want a whole lot of paint on our brush. I'm going to add a couple drops of that blending gel and mix that in with it. Make it kind of watery. Okay, knocking most of that paint off. And we're just going to throw a few, a th just a few blades of grass in, and kind of cascading across the scape, right, of this, this shade. We don't want a lot. Okay. We just want a few. We just want some that are catching the light. Remember, not doing a whole lot. And I'm going to make sure that they end up on front of the black parts. Because that's where they're really going to pop. Well, Cherish, are you part of the Template Tribe? Are you part of Erica's Template Tribe? You would probably benefit from it if you're buying that many templates a week. Now, if you're if you're getting older templates, obviously that doesn't help with the older templates. So, go ahead and invest in those. But if you need um, a cheaper price point for all the new templates that come out each month, y'all do know I have that that template tribe that gives you practically seventy five percent off of everything all at once. Like you get everything that releases in April on April 1st for a 75, almost 70, I think it's right at 75% discount. I mean, I did that so that makers who like Cherish, she fulfills orders, right? Um, so what makes sense for someone who owns a business like Cherish, like Roxana, like Lori, like Ashley, it makes more sense for them to invest in something at a lower price point so that they get the most in, uh, return when they sell something made out of that. So say you buy a template at $5 a pop, right? One template, you spent $5 on it. When you sell a door hanger, you've lost $5 of that profit because the very first door hanger that you sell is, um, well, you've already got money invested, right? 
because you've got the, the money in the template, the money in the paper to print it, the money in the tape to put it together. You've got all of that, what's called overhead, tied up into it, right? Well, if you're buying multiple templates, well, some of them you bought for yourself because you thought they were cute. Some of them you bought because you know for a fact they're going to sell. But every single one that you buy may sell, may not sell, you know. So you're, you're gambling a little bit by picking and choosing here and there. And your, your return on investment is lower because you're buying them one at a time or you're buying them, a, you're, you're, you're cherry picking them, right? Well, if you've got everything for a discounted price, for the price of what, five templates? If you got 20 to 25 templates for the price of five, you would literally be making more money back when you sell your door hangers because you have more to offer your people. They can literally, pay, you can hand them the catalog because what I do is I, I create a spreadsheet every month that has every single design on. In fact, here, I'll show it to you. This was March's. Um, you can be like, okay, this is what I have to offer. And you can give them every single, every single month, right? Um, you can say, okay, this, this is what I have to offer. There we go. So it was like, which one do you want out of that? I need something spring. Well, great. Here's February, March, and April. This is all the designs that I have for spring. Um, if you'd like to see the rest of my, my designs that I have available that I can paint for you, boom. It's just a one sheet wonder, right? Like there's no more sending individual pictures to your clients. You can literally just send them a spreadsheet. Um, so it comes in a spreadsheet like that and it makes it easier to communicate with your clients. You get more bang for your buck because I, I will say I am a gift giver. I love to give gifts. So usually you get 20 to 25 depending on how many Tuesdays are in each month. So if there's five Tuesdays, you get 25 designs. If there's four Tuesdays, so four template to Wednesday releases, you get 20 designs. So um, there's usually bonuses and there's usually bonus mock-ups. So say this was a baseball, which if you're a baseball fan, you're going to love April's designs because this is a series and we have soccer, we have baseball, we have now football, but baseballs is being released in uh, April. So you'll get the baseball version, but I also offer you the softball version mock-up so that all your softball people can see it. They, like it helps them to see it, if that makes sense. So if you want more information on Erica's Template Tribe, or if you're not a member yet and you would like to be, it's $30 a month and you get 100% of the templates released um, each month on the first day of each month. And it's a reoccurring payment, so you don't have to constantly hit the buy button, and you can cancel any time. But you get 100% of the, the templates released on Template to Wednesdays before the first Template to Wednesday even occurs for $30 a month. So she can make me a happy... <laughs> I, I, Dana, I did have you in mind when I added the softball mock-up. I was like, oh, because I had just talked to you. You were sitting in the bleachers watching your girl play softball. I was like, oh, yeah, 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 let me do that. I mean, that's just a quick color drop on Procreate, right? No big deal. Automatic uh, $30 can be canceled anytime. Drafted at the same day of each month. Um, Lori just dropped the link. Lori, you're amazing. She just dropped the link for Erica's uh, template tribe. Usually get bonuses. There's always extra templates every month. Um, this month, if you liked the Autism Awareness Garland, this month, the bonus, one of the bonuses, is the template for that. Y'all know I don't sell the templates to most of my garlands, right? There's not a whole lot that you can get available through templates for the garlands. Those are usually blank exclusives. Um, but Erica's Template Tribe, for the month of April, that's one of their bonuses. They got the Autism Awareness Garland template and JPEG. So you get the PNG. So if there's a design that you really like and you would like to make it into a t-shirt, you get the PNG to do um, sub sublimation. I can never get that word right. Or to um, 
if you have like really pretty backdrops that you like to use for your advertising, like in Canva and stuff, you can upload the PNG of something so that your brand colors are in the background. So if you wanted to make a pretty flyer in Canva for a paint party, you have the PNG version. The only way to get the PNG versions of my designs is to be a part of Tribe. There's so many parks to Tribe because it doesn't come with a community. This is the community, right? It doesn't come with a community. Um, it is early email only. You register and the very first of each month, you, your first email will be the next first of the month after you register. So once you register, I always get the, I didn't get an email or anything. I did, don't worry. You're registered. If you got the PayPal confirmation, then you're registered. You're good to go. Um, you just hang tight till the first day of the following month and you will be, it'll be like Christmas is what some of my girls say. It's like Christmas every month, which makes me happy because I'm a gift giver. And so if you're equating me to the biggest gift giving season of the year, I'm a happy girl. All right, I'm just blow drying this because remember we used blending gel, so we need to make sure it's skin dry. If you design something and there isn't a garland to it, can we make our own garland to match the template? Yeah, you can make it. Now, you can't use pieces of my design to make a garland and then sell that as a template because technically that would be that would have been my design. You know what I mean? Like, you can't take something like a... Like this soccer ball, that obviously this is a soccer ball. It's a soccer ball, it's a soccer ball, it's a soccer ball, right? Um, but yeah, no, you can take elements and make a, gar a matching garland so that you can make a set for your, uh, like a painted set for your people. Yeah, go for it. The only thing you can't do when you purchase something digital, you cannot take a digital piece, whether it be a paper template, whether it be um, an SVG or something like that, you cannot take something digital and create something digital and sell that something digital. Does that make sense? That, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, actually, I know you know, but I'm saying it so that I know you know, girl, because you and I have this conversation. We, we chat, shop about that all the time, but, um, there's always, there's always that conversation about, and we're going to talk about this in the studio about imposter syndrome and, um, copying, copying other creatives. There's a difference between inspiration and copying. And sometimes, you know, imitation is the, the greatest form of flattery, right? Until you're creative and you worked your butt off to create something really cute and then you see someone copy it, that's not flattery. That's, that's frustrating. <laughs> that's a different F word. And, um, I try to break it down to where, you know, First off, if, if, you are, if you are being inspired or if you are copying, I try to break that down as basic as possible with my Paint Studio girls because um, I don't ever want them getting that really awkward message coming from another creative saying, uh, that's mine, you're going to have to take that down. Like, that is the worst feeling in the world. I never want them to feel that. So, I try, I try to give them as much um, as possible. So that they avoid that feel. It's, it does not feel good. So yeah. So you cannot take a digital something, turn it into another digital something, and sell that digital something. That's just icky. Don't do it. Like it's just gross. Don't do it. <laughs> um, when you do it and you're like, what did Erica say? Is this icky? Yes, it's icky. Don't do it. It's gross. So, Erica, we can use the spreadsheet to show customers. I always print one and then show customers. I land up. So, I end, I land up with hangers that just sit. So, I don't end up with, okay, yes, cheers. What I would do is, I, and I do this. Like, I organize my template to win. I have a binder um, that has the spreadsheet printed. And then behind it, I have listings for each week of when those are going to be released out. Well, what you could do is you can make that same binder with just the printouts. I call them the at a glance uh, pages. So at a glance, you have every design. I'm gonna have to show y'all my template to Wednesday binder. Um, so you can have an idea. And that's what I, when someone asks me, hey, 
I want a door hanger, but I don't know exactly what I want. What do you have? You get that all the time, right? Girls, tell me in the comments if you've ever gotten that message from somebody. Ah, uh, I spelled your name wrong. Girl, don't worry about it. I get it all. I've gotten it since I was zero. Nobody knows how to spell my name. I, I don't get offended. I need to see your binder. Okay, I will show y'all. I will remember to uh, bring that next uh, next template to Wednesday. Okay, so I'm grabbing paint pens. Y'all know what that means. We're on the home stretch. I'm not paint pinning a whole lot on this. Jerry's grandson said this looks realistic, so we're not going to cartoon up that up too much. But we are going to add a little bit of black to the edge. Okay. Mm. Feather that out just a little bit. I don't want to go too much into the grass. There we go. And now it's super easy. We're just um, now if you're using blending gel, what I recommend is go eat dinner, come back to this because that blending gel is going to keep a lot of this wet and it's going to gunk up your paint pen like it is mine a little bit. And let it let it air dry for a little bit. Um, okay, template to Wednesday binder. Um, okay, so what what I would do? Am I even in frame? Yes, I am. Okay, I would print every month. I would probably print and save separately the at a glance pages in a folder on your computer and in a binder. That way, if you do craft shows. If you do farmer's markets, if you do paint parties, girls, paint parties, have y'all ever been to that brick and mortar place that has paintings on the wall when you go and sip, sip, paint, paint? I don't want to name their name because I don't know if they want me even talking about them. But when you're sitting there painting in their little establishment, what's going through your mind? Oh, that's cute. I want to paint that next time. Have you ever sat in one of those and, and said that, those words? Oh, that's cute. Next time we come, you're literally booking your next time without realizing you're booking your next time. Why? Because you were inspired by something on their wall that you could possibly do next time. You see opportunity for more fun. What I recommend is you printing those pages out. The only way to get those pages is to be a part of Tribe. Print those pages out, put them in a binder, and bring that binder to your paint parties. Girls, take them to your paint parties. And then have it sitting out on your paint table and just have it just open face. Just have it randomly. That it, it, put, it in, put them in little page protectors and let them flip through. It's like going to Walmart or Brookshire's or Kroger to the bakery section. And we all do it. Girls, don't even act like you don't do it. We all go to the bakery section and we all flip through the cake book. Even though we're not ordering a cake, we're just looking to see what's available. I love your teaching. You are selling me on the template drive for sure, Jared. <laughs> I just, okay, so the template tribe, let me tell y'all why I started it. Is it a unique idea? Nope. I'm not the first. I'm not the second. And I'm definitely probably not going to be the last. I'm okay with that. Whatever. It's not unique. Let me put it in that sense. It's not unique. You know who else does it? Netflix. You know who else does it? Showtime, uh, Hulu, you get everything all at once. When they release something new, you're the first one to get it in a big bundle. If you didn't realize Netflix, Hulu, all those streaming services, they all change things periodically. Things, new things come, old things kind of, rot everything rotates around, right? Well, the only way to see them, the only way to be able to watch them is to be a subscriber, right? The only way to get certain perks is to be a subscriber. I do want to put a few little. I didn't want to cartoon it up, but it needs a little something. Just a little something, something. Okay. Y'all, I love it. I'm not putting any words on it because if someone wants to order this, it's painted. I just slap their name on it and it's ready to go. All right, so... Here it is. How fun is that? Look at that. Look at that. Okay. Let's 
a full knot table. Boom. Ugh, it's hot in here. Can you tell? I'm like glistening. Okay, so just envision words. I love it. I say that every week. I know, I don't need you to tell. <laughs> I love it. Look at it. Soccer. Wait, wrong hand. Soccer. <laughs> It's cute. I love it. Okay, so template tribe. I love it, Erica. Well, thank you, Deidre. Um, later, lady. Bye, Helen. Okay, so template tribe. You get a lower price point on all templates each month on the first of the month. Sometimes it may be the third, depending on um, how many designs are coming in that month. Um, but so far, it's been the first every month so far this year. And we've started it this year. Um, you get them on the first. You get 20 to 25, depending on how many template to Wednesday releases. Four week releases get 20 plus bonuses. And five week releases get 25 plus bonuses. And this month, if you're a part of Erica's Template Tribe, it is one of your bonuses. Is, I have multiple. One of your bonuses is the... Um, Autism Awareness Garland. So let me go ahead and show y'all what that was. Remember, I painted that during the Craftathon road trip that me and my cross country creative. It's really hard for me to say that without thinking about it first. Okay. So, there we go. So it's this one. And then you have a tutorial that goes with that because of the, the tutorial I did on. So that's the bonus, one, one of the bonuses for April's. And this is the first time that I've offered a, a garland. Um, I've had many requests for a tear tray set. Um, so that might be coming as a bonus. Here's game, good game. I'm going to jump in the shower. Oh, I love the, I love the play on words, actually good game. That's right, girls. Good game. Um, cute. Thank you, Maria. Hey, I didn't get my notification. Oh, for the live? That's weird. Facebook's, uh-uh. It can't be messing with family. Facebook. Don't be not telling my family. That's family. That's my cousin. Um, don't be not telling Brittany that I'm not live. We missed you all. Y'all, I've been tired. <laughs> I'm not even going to lie. I'm not even going to come up with an excuse. I'm tired. But my paint studio girls are well aware of why I'm tired. Like, we, I stay in really good communication with my studio girls. Um, the grass makes me happy. It looks so fun to do. Marie, it is. I love painting grass. I don't do it often. One reason why there's a few, there's a few templates each month lately that has had grass in it, which was another reason why I was like, I probably need to go ahead and show them how to do that because there's, that can be an intimidating uh, technique. Um, so that's why we ended up painting this instead of the gopher slash mouse. I'm going to have to re go back and relabel him a gopher because everybody saw gopher. Question, does the puzzle pieces fit together? No. No, they're hand-drawn. They're hand-drawn. They're not perfect. But they are the best that I could do at my ability. Um, yeah, it didn't tell me. Well, Facebook, unacceptable. That's unacceptable behavior, Facebook. Shame on you. I'll rewatch. <laughs> well, it was fun. I will say it was fun. We had a blast. Um, what other things can we use autism puzzle pieces for? Hmm. Well, April is Autism Awareness Month, so you could use puzzle pieces. Oh, game for games. Um, if you have a family that's like real big into game night, puzzle pieces would be um, adoption. A lot of times people will use puzzles and rainbows for adoptions because pieces are fitting together. Things are coming together as a family. Um, puzzle pieces for... Um, classrooms a lot of people their puzzle pieces are super cute uh kids designs kids kits they're really fun for kids kits and stuff like that game room that's the word i was looking for michaela thank you game room don't forget to send me that picture if you haven't already michaela i really want to help you on that um 
Okay, so back to Erica Simpla Tribe. You get all the designs on the first of the month in an email. It's going to be, uh, it comes in a file. You just click the blue link, and that blue link will magically open everything. There's no registration or anything like that after you've registered to be a part of Erica Simpla Tribe. You just wait for Christmas morning every first of the month, right? Um, and you have the PNG, the JPEG, and the printable template. What else is there? The PNG can be used on t-shirts as well as mock-ups for paint party uh, flyers or anything that you would need a PNG for. Um, the only way to get the PNG is to be a part of the tribe. The only way to get the bonuses sometimes, like sometimes the, the templates do get released, but you have to buy them individually if you're not part of tribe. Um, they get them for free technically in tribe because I market it for the 20 to 25 well the bonuses aren't marketed into the price so they're literally free templates for them um I just brainstorming more idea Ooh, yes I, I would love to know anything that you could use a puzzle piece for so if you would like to more information or a link to tribe just comment the word tribe and I'll come back and I'll drop a link for you to uh, register don't forget, registration closes tomorrow night, the 31st. Tomorrow's the 31st, right? What's today? 30, 31st at midnight Central Standard Time. The email is going to be going out about 8 a.m. on the 1st. And it is no April Fool's joke. They are super cute. I'm so excited. Automatic monthly. Oh, Lori. She's in the comments. Like, she is ready to go. She's had that copied and pasted so fast. You're our template superhero. Okay, so, okay, good, Michaela, you did. Okay, so after I eat dinner, because y'all know I didn't eat dinner, I ate a cheese stick, like a little, one of those little, like you shred it apart, like you put in your kids' lunch boxes. I ate one of those so I wouldn't pass out while I painted with y'all tonight. It's Taco Tuesday. So, Template to Wednesday is also Erica, in Erica's house, Taco Tuesday. We have tacos every Tuesday night, or something like Mexican themed. Like, it's usually tacos, or it's like a plate of nachos. We call them leftover nachos. We take whatever leftover meat from the night before, and we make that the topper to our uh, fully dressed nachos. They're usually the protein in our nachos. Yay! I'm so excited. Okay, so girls, it was so much fun. I cannot wait till next Tuesday. If you're in the paint studio, then tomorrow, I know I promised it Monday, but all my girls understand that it has been a, like a flash. It has literally been so fast of a fast moving month. We had Taco Tuesday tonight too. I'm, yay! I, ever since Lego Movie came out, Taco Tuesday, my son is literal. Like everything is literal. Taco Tuesday was mentioned in Lego Movie when he was a kid, and he has been Taco Tuesday ever since. Like, we can't get away from Taco Tuesday now. I love Taco Tuesday, but now it's like embedded in his brain. He expects tacos on Tuesdays or nachos. Yes, teacher, send it to me, girl. You need to run something by me? Just go ahead, you, you, you know, just message it to me. And maybe in the morning before I respond, because I'm not a night owl. This right here is a lot of copy before I, I came live. Okay. Don't forget, put tip, uh, Tribe in the comments below if you want more information or a link to sign up for Tribe. I will come back and manually put that in, and we can talk about it if you need more information. Um, we also have, oh, this was the other thing. This was the virtual paint party that we had mentioned earlier. I had said I would show you all the door hanger. This is the door hanger that they're learning how to paint. That's what they were chatting about in the comments earlier. They were like, I haven't even started. This is what they haven't started yet. They've had the tutorial since last Monday and some of these girls I'm not gonna call them out but most of them are my my studio girls but I keep them busy most of them have not even cut it out much less painted it and I've painted it twice girls um talking about studio one last time before I leave studio was taking a pivot okay before uh paint studio was and I'm not I'm, I'm just kind of making there was something I was going to show y'all uh, before Paint Studio was literally just a painting tutorial group where we had community, I gave you three designs, and we just had paint parties all month long, right? The girls in studio have begged and begged and begged for accountability, for help. And let me tell you what Erica is not. 
Erica is not a coach. Erica can refer you to her coaches. I have multiple and I love them dearly. I have one that I consider more of a mentor and I really lean hard on her opinion, but I do not, she, um, she is a really close friend and I feel like there has to be a boundary with your coaches and with your coaches, I feel like you can be friendly, you can be on a love, you can love each other, but there has to be that separation where you can hear hard things from them and not cut them off because, uh, -uh my friend's not going to talk to me like that. Mm. Now, a coach really needs to be able to tell you the hard things, just like your doctor needs to be able to tell you the hard things without you getting in your feelings about them, right? So, for her, she's more of a mentor, and I really lean hard on her opinion and her guidance and her love. Um, and then I have a, a couple of coaches where I really lean hard and lean into their instruction. So, there's a difference between a mentor and a coach. I am neither one. Neither one. I am a peer. I am a peer to peer. That is the studio. The studio is taking a pivot from being a painting tutorial based group. Now it will still have paint parties where we will chat while we learn how to paint and we will talk paint parties during those tutorials. That will be the basis of why we because that's how I teach I teach it as if you're going to lead a paint party so that's how I teach I mean I teach it every Tuesday right well I want to be able to offer these girls I say girls y'all are women right I'm a girl y'all are women whatever you know um, I want to offer them a place to feel safe a place to ask the hard questions, a place for accountability, a place to lift each other up. I want it to be um, a group for accountability, for brainstorming, and for um, positive mindset. That's what the pivot is going to take. Every month we will be doing a brainstorm. Brainstorming is one of my favorite things to do. Um, it is and I usually end up brainstorming other people's businesses and never even touch on mine. So since this is a peer-to-peer -peer group, I want you to understand that when you come in, I will not be coaching you. I will not be I will not be teaching you step by step on how to do things. It will literally be and there will be some step by step things of things I have physically done for my business. Um because I feel like we all do paint parties differently, right? But you have heard of other people t talking about how they run it and you have said, "Oh, I really I like that one little aspect. I'm going to start implementing that in mine." You're not copying them. You just found something that's working and you're like, I want to try that. And it works for you too, right? You don't want to completely trash everything you've been doing to do exactly what they're doing because everything that they do may not jam with the way that you want to run your stuff, right? But you like the way that they lay their paints out on the table for people to go get them themselves. Or you like the fact that they offer multiple and how they offer multiple instead of just painting one design at a time, right? So it's stuff like that where having a complete panel of people um, at your fingertips to be like, hey, girls, I, I've got this like roadblock. How do y'all do this? Or I've got this roadblock. I got this thing that I just can't get past. And I've been thinking, when you thought about something for way too long, you can no longer see through it or around it. You are literally just staring at it. So it's really hard to see the solution, right? So the brainstorm that's where brainstorming comes in that's where that's when all the light bulb moments start going off and people start saying oh but you could do this or maybe this or try this or here's that i love brainstorming i love to see the light bulb moments where the, i see the literally your faces light up and we do them over zoom so i can see your faces lighting up i love brainstorming it goes from like like that that transition of the posture changes, the face lights up, that eye, the twinkle. Oh, it's amazing. I love it. Um, so if you would like to get in on studio, I'm opening it up for the rest of uh, March because April will be a completely new experience. We're, we'll, we are still going to do tutorials. We're going to do two out of the three. You still get your three templates. But you're going to get two tutorials. We'll vote on which ones. That way uh, you're getting the ones that you want. You'll still get the templates, you'll still get the mock-up, you'll still get all of the content, but instead of one of the tutorials, you're going to get a brainstorm session. And it's going to be a peer-to-peer a, a -peer brainstorm Zoom call, 
and we will be doing also I'll be um, giving like a needle mover or a Kickstarter or a hey try this and see if this helps with fill in the blank this is something I've done for my business and it's really helped I'll be doing these little little marketing and biz and like just little things they're definitely not coach inspired they are definitely just say hey girls here's a gold nugget here's this little tidbit here's this little little ounce of something that's worked for me maybe it'll work for you you know kind of things um so there's that so if you want more information on the studio just type the word studio in the comments and I will come back with that information as well so I'm an old I come back to the comments and Jerry Thompson <laughs> <laughs> All I see is I'm an old woman. Oh, dear, you are not. Stop it. I don't even know what y'all were talking about. You're the best. Maria. Yes, she has. <laughs> All right, girls. I am so done hijacking your night. I'm going to go eat my dinner. What time is it? It's 8 that Girls, we got this done in an hour and a half and chit chatted. Can we say door hanger of the month? batch creating that was that was fast that was fast um okay oh cherish just signed up for template tribe i'm so excited cherish you're gonna love it you're gonna love it and you're gonna love being able to paint things before they're released on tuesday like when you open it on the first you're gonna be like oh, i'm gonna paint that and it may be something that's uh due to release the last week of the month and everyone's like where'd you get that template you can't get it yet <laughs> i love it when i see people say that it's not because i'm mean it's just because i'm like oh man but I, maybe i could bump it up nope erica stop <laughs> leave it on its week that's the whole perk of being in tribe just leave it alone Okay, girls, I am officially going to go eat. I can feel my stomach, like, saying, Erica, feed me, or I'm going to make you pass out. Like, it's, it's saying that. Like, it's literally. Um, okay, girls, I love y'all. Thank y'all for hanging out with me. I will see y'all next Tuesday, if not sooner. If you are part of uh, the studio, you will see me tomorrow. Tomorrow night after I drop my son off at church. I will be rushing back home to finish up our March um, 3rd design. All right. I love y'all. Thank y'all for hanging out with me. I'll see y'all next time.